Okay, there we are. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. I don't know when's here yet, but with replay, I don't want it to be all weird. Anyway, so just a Saturday night chat, like I've mentioned in my previous lives. Right now, this is really the only way I'm going to be able to do my videos. I don't have the time to my studio, I guess you can say, and then um, edit the videos and stuff. So this is the only way I can do it. This is Saturday night chat. So anything goes. Um, welcome. I see there's four people. Wow. Um, I have some happy mail next to me that I'm going to go through. Hey, Julie, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. I've seen your videos. I think I've commented on a couple. I haven't watched many videos in the last three weeks, I think. But I've been trying to. It's been difficult. Miss you too. Lots. I miss everybody. That's why I'm trying to do these lives so that I can kind of connect with everybody. Sorry it has to be late, but I literally have no time. By the time the day goes by, even though I am... I have every intention of doing the lives earlier. I just can't. I mean, I, I just don't get the chance to. Julie, I hope you don't mind this, but you'll see it in a second. The next time you type. Hey, Cynthia, how are you? There were four people that popped on here right away, but. So how are things going with you guys? Is the sound okay? And the clarity on my computer, it looks so grainy. It's driving me up a wall, but she's good. She's sleeping. If you hear a TV, it's her. I have her room door closed almost all the way, um, but I'm not turning off her TV. But she's just going insane with having to keep her legs elevated and stuff and not being able to put too much weight on her right knee because it's just the spacer right now and the IV antibiotics every day for a couple hours each day, a few hours each day. It's, it's just driving her batty, but she's good. Good to see you too, Cynthia. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I know on replay, it, look, it seems to look fine, but on my computer, it looks horrible. I really can't wait to reach 1,000 subs so I can do lives on my phone. That's when I'll do like an official live. And by then, I'm guessing I will be back completely in my place and being able to do these. So we'll see. Nope, not Levaquin. Unfortunately, because they had to give her antibiotics before surgery, I did do a live that I explained everything um the history from years ago with the first several surgeries and then this one but because they had to give her antibiotics before surgery even though it was that night before it killed the bacteria enough that the bacteria can't grow in the cultures from the aspiration that they did in the er to the um, samples that they took the following night in surgery uh so they can't pinpoint what bacteria was growing. So they can't target it. They, they can't target it with a an specific antibiotic. So she's got IV antibiotics. Um, the bagged IV that I start um, twice a day is uh, vancomycin, and I mean, they've had to they've had to alter the or change the um, levels a little because her body was absorbing too much of it and not getting rid of it. Her kidney function has been fine with Vanco really attacks kidney. So they monitor her blood work twice a week. Um, and then they also have her on Rocephin, which is just an IV push over five minutes, but they're big gun antibiotics because they're trying to kill whatever this is. Um, and without having cultures to pit target, they're kind of stuck with what they've got. So yeah, it's and and now what's started is within 15 minutes after the IV drip is done, she starts itching everywhere. And I guess it's a side effect, but it's not an allergic. I mean, it it could be an allergic side effect if it hadn't been that she's been on it for so long already. But I guess when you're on it for an extended amount of time, that's just what can happen. It drives her up a wall because uh, just her whole body starts itching. 
Hey, how are you? Yeah, being homiacin and rosefin. It's good, but it's it's a very, very it's one of the big gun antibiotics and it's very hard on the body. But we don't have a choice. No, no, they're not well, they'll probably start checking for C diff. Not smart, but um, and there's really no correlation, direct correlation between. Um, oh my gosh, what is it called? What's in yogurt? Hello. <laughs> there's no correlation between um, and the supplements that you can take. Hello, of the stuff that's in yogurt. Drawing a blank. My brain is really just, yeah, not great right now. But anyway, um, well, yeah, lactobacillus, but oh, my God. Um, sorry, I got to look this up because this is going to drive me up a wall. Uh, anyway, probiotics. Hello. Wow. I knew it started with a P. There's no direct correlation between probiotics actually helping combat the effects of antibiotics. Would it hurt? No, but they don't actually have any scientific proof that it will help combat the effects. So she's, you know, kefir has more strains of it in it. So she's been drinking that in the morning and then we, I give her, she has yogurt a couple of times. Well, at least once a day. But yes, th there is a concern for C. diff on our part. The infectious disease doctor doesn't seem to be really concerned about it. After six weeks of, well, it's been varying on the on on the grams of Vanco that she's been getting, but it's definitely something we're trying to avoid if possible. Now uh, you've been, yeah, I've been on both of them too in the past, but. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Julie, for saying her name. Eden, Eden, I told you I'm bad with names. So I was trying to remember when I, oh, hey, hello. I couldn't. So anyway, that's that. Um, otherwise, my schedule still is crazy morning to night, trying to get to the office when I can. Even if I just run in for a half hour, hour, to do what actually needs to happen and then come back for whatever needs to happen here. And now that they're changing her antibiotic schedule a little because her body is absorbing more of it than it's letting go of the, the trough isn't, isn't as clear as they would like. So they just keep messing with it and it, it's just been so frustrating and it, and it runs for so long. If it didn't run for so long, I mean, it's, supposed to only run for like an hour and a half, but I'd have to have it almost open all the way. And when it, when she gets it too quickly, she starts having breathing issues. So we have to keep it between it, it running between 175 to 200 milliliters an hour. And even that can too much. And because we don't have the machines that regulate the flow, it's all by gravity. So it, it, because we're running it at the level that it should be for an hour and a half, it still takes anywhere from two to three hours twice a day. So she really is going nuts with it. Vanco, they treat a lot of stuff with. Vanco and, Vanco and Rosefin are heavy gun antibiotics that they that can treat a large variety of bacteria and infections. There are better antibiotics if they knew what it was that was happening. It will kill what they were thinking it was 11 years ago for the first two infections that she got in the same knee. But if it was that now, and they knew for a fact it was, and I can't remember what it was, it, it was like a, the way they explained it 11 years ago was it was a fecal type so it was kind of like an E. coli 
not E. coli, but it, it was something in that, in, in, in that, um, it, uh, oh my God, something in that area. If they knew for a fact that's what it was now, they would be targeting it with a different antibiotic. But because they know that for a fact, because nothing has grown in the cultures and the cultures for a full sample of something, it would take two weeks to grow and over two weeks since they took the last one, which was during surgery. So we just kind of have to hit it with everything as, as much as we can. So. It is. It is. I did it twice last 11 years ago. Well, no, four times because really quick, Julie, since I don't think you saw that video with the explanation back in June of 2007, end of June of 2007, she had her very first full um, knee replacement on the right knee. A week later, she had an infection. They went in. All they did was took out the joint that they replaced, cleaned it, put it back in. We didn't get any other options. Then six months later in December of 2007, she had the left knee done, knock on wood, no problems. Two months later, February 08, another infection in the right knee. Again, all they did was took out the joint, cleaned it, put it back. This time, they took everything out. So they were using chisels and everything. So this is unlike any surgery she's had. And they took out the metal in the femur, the plastic that was in the tibia, took out the joint, cleaned everything up took out as much scar tissue as they could, then put the metal back in, the plastic back in, but they put an antibiotic spacer in with antibiotic beads also. So that's also in her knee with antibiotics. Um, and the hopes are with the six weeks of the pick line with the antibiotics is that it'll kill, that and the spacer will kill everything, but it's partial weight bearing, so she can't put most of her weight on it. So she has to walk with a walker for four months or however long. The six weeks after the antibiotics are done, they'll do some tests for the next six to eight weeks to confirm that there's no sign of or, um, infection. If they feel they, if the surgeon feels he wants to before going in again, he will do another knee tap to confirm that there's nothing in there. Once he feels confident there's no infection in there, he will they'll open back up take out the spacer, put the joint back in, solidify everything. Then the heavy PT starts and, and hopefully she'll regain more range of motion than she had even after the previous three surgeries. That's what we're hoping for. So that's it kind of in a nutshell. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Um, so yeah, so that's basically and. The days are crazy because I have to wake up in the morning, start stuff with her, let Miley out, come back, do the dishes, do the laundry, do whatever, finish her IV, go to the office or go to the doctor's or whatever the case may be. Then, of course, I have to be up at five in the morning, make sure the antibiotic is out. Five in the evening, we have to make sure we're home to get the antibiotic out for three hours. It has to sit out. And then we started in the evenings have to do whatever else needs to be done. And it's just, it's literally like Groundhog Day for six weeks. <laughs> but it is what it is, and you got to do what you got to do. And I couldn't not be here for her. I mean, this was the least expensive way to go home health care, and that's even a few hundred dollars a week copay. Otherwise, had she not had me around, she'd have to go to a skilled nursing facility. She can't just go to PT or something or rehab because they have to have RNs on staff. So they would have to be a skilled nursing facility and then she has to make sure she hits her deductible and all this other crap and whatever. So I was like, no, you're not, you're not going to a skilled nursing facility. You're coming home, I'll take care of you. I have no problem with that, don't mind it at all. So she could, but they really don't think so because the left knee was done with the same materials and knock on wood, didn't have a problem. And for 11 years, didn't have a problem. Now they said the chances of it having been sitting dormant for 11 years is highly unlikely. Anything could have made it happen again. She did have a pedicure 
like five days before it happened, they said there's no way it would have happened that fast to that extreme. To the point where we came into the ER two o'clock Monday afternoon, they admitted her at 1030, I want to say Monday night had her in surgery Tuesday because they wanted to get it out. So the chances of it being an allergic reaction to the the joint or any of the other material in it is slim. It, could it be? Absolutely. Our bodies change every seven years. Our bodies are basically brand new. So anything can happen. But right now, that's not what the thinking is. Good. Thank you. Tired, but good. At least I'm not yawning tonight. I shouldn't have said that. But my last, how are you? So anyway, that was for anyone who didn't see the live that explained everything. That was it quickly. Um, so yeah, I have some happy mail. I did finally get um, Sandy's box. She told me about it in my last live. Uh, Sandy with Crochet A Canada. And she told me I couldn't open it until I did my next video. And since I'm not doing my regular videos and only doing lives right now, I had to wait. It's been, I can't remember what day I did my last live, but it's been at least three days. That's torture for me to not open a box. I mean, seriously, torture. I'm not, I'm not kidding, but, it, but I promised her I wouldn't open it until I was on camera. So I'll just go through it quickly. This one I actually went over in one of the lives, but it was kind of, it was just, I just kind of breezed through it, but Simone was on the live at the time. And I know a bunch of you, I think, know Simone because we all know her from Krista's page, and I'm sure she's on everybody else's too. But she sent me a postcard, my very first postcard. So I'm now officially collecting postcards. So I would ideally love to collect cards from every city and every country around the world. So I am welcoming anybody sending me postcards. They're inexpensive. And if you have a chance from wherever you live, that would be awesome. Because this is my first, okay, not my first one in my life, but my first one since starting my channel <laughs> and getting hand mail. Excuse me. But she said, and I love the koalas. So now she's always sending me koala hug. Because I told her, I can't remember which ones I love the best. They're really cute. I like the ones that are doubles. But koalas are just so cute. I just want to hug them. But anyway, she said, hi, Natalie, sending you yarny hugs and smiles. And huge thank you because I enjoy watching your YouTube channel so much. I come home from make a cuppa, which I guess that's what they call making cup of tea. And watch some yarn porn. Yes, that's what my kiddles have named it. Now they know I'm not the only crazy alcoholic in the world. Have a great day. Kindest regards from Simone. So this was exciting when I got it in my PO box. I opened it up. I was like, I wasn't, I actually, I think I remember somebody saying, and I couldn't remember who it was that they sent me a postcard, but I had been checking my, my PO box and nothing. And it came in after my mom's surgery at some point. So this, I think I also showed, but I got this I got this before Black Friday because I knew the price was lower and I didn't want to wait until after Black Friday for the price to possibly go up. But I got my, I think it's my third or fourth set of clover hooks. Yay. Can't have too many hooks. I think I have four or five, at least five or six, six millies, six millies. So, um, yeah, this was exciting. I couldn't wait that this I had to open. I'm sorry. I just, this what it's still in the box, but I couldn't wait to open it on camera. Can't remember what. I, oh, yeah, this um, silver sterling silver box link chain. Crazy. My mom and I were out. This was a couple months, like two months ago, maybe something like that. We were out on the weekend. I don't even remember what we were doing. Sit. We were. We went into um, a convenience store. And we're standing at the checkout and I'm, I'm paying all of a sudden I hear something clink and my neck broke with my yarn cutter. And I was like, what the hell? I didn't, I was standing there going into my purse, which was not near my necklace. And then all the box link chains are one of the strongest chains out there. 
even though this is so thin, it's ridiculously strong. So the only thing I can think of is it somehow got, got caught in the cutter and maybe pulled or something. I don't know, but it broke. So I, this did come in at the same time that my hooks came in. So I was excited about that. Well, Kelly, they were like, they're norm. The normal I see them at is like, I want to say 36, 38, maybe even $34. They were down to like 28 and 33 cents. I know sometimes I, I totally get it. It just, they, I didn't think they were going to go down that low this year, but they did on Amazon, which that's another thing I was going to talk about, which I did touch in one of my other lives. You got another six milli. <laughs> I love six millis. I've been using them a lot, even with some of my thinner yarns, which you all know I use. I, I use a lot of thinner yarns, but I've been using the six milli a lot and oh, it's actually in my Nina Chicago bag, but um, yeah, I love six milli and five and five and a half. Those are the three that I use the most. What did I recently, I can't remember it was, if it was a Lotus flower blanket that I was using the, no, I think I went off on that, but I was using like a three and a quarter. It was just too small, <laughs> but I was going to say, remind me, you could remind me we're live um, to let you know about the affiliate stuff that I've got in my description box below, because I've had several people emailing me over the last couple of weeks asking if there's any way to help. And, and, and I even had like two or three people asking if they could send like some money or something. If somebody wants to help, please do not send money. I appreciate the offer. I really do. I do want to help my mom with her copays a little. But thankfully, we have a very understanding boss. And that aspect of it is fine. Um, but doing any shopping from Amazon, I know we all have Amazon affiliate links and we all want to support everybody. I totally get it. I've shopped on several people's Amazon links, um, but that is, that would be one of the best ways to help the next time you have an Amazon order, which I, all of us realize that there's no additional charge if you go through somebody else's link and you don't have to purchase whatever it is you click on. Like if I have the hook set on there, if you click on that link, you don't have to purchase that as long as whatever you purchase, you purchase in that window within a 20. 24 hour period, anything you purchase, whether it's, I was going to say a car, really, um, we're on Amazon. Who knows? Maybe cars are available on Amazon. I wouldn't put it past them. Um, if you could buy a coffin on walmart.com, I'm sure you could buy a car on Amazon. But anyway, um, whether you purchase like bedding or, or a TV or whatever, a small percentage, I'd get a small percentage off of that. So if you are interested in helping, that would be a great way. Um, I do, I was able to get on the tier with um, Knit Crate. I'm pointing in this direction because I have my Knit Crate box. But I did get on the tier where I can offer a discount if you go through my link. So if you haven't tried Knit Crate and you have been interested in trying it, the, you can cancel at any time without being penalized and jump right back onto it at a later time, whatever the case is. But it, And I know a bunch of us have Knit Crate links also. But if you are interested, that's another way. I think it's a 20% discount on your first uh, crate. Hobium was in the process of becoming an affiliate with them well, in their program, and then they went out of business. I am checking on Amazon. I haven't done it yet, but I am checking because I have a lot of Hobium yarn, and I was going to start doing reviews on it, and I will at some point start that up again. But they have partnered up, I guess, with Amazon to sell their stuff. So if if the yarns I have are available on Amazon, I'm going to go ahead and put those links into the description box below. Um, and then I'll do reviews on it because I know it's available somewhere. Uh, but I am I am talking to different yarn companies to try to get into an affiliate program with them. I know ice is out there but so many people have ice especially krista 
that I want to be able to offer something else that is at a reasonable price and or has reasonable shipping and or a copy of the two to everybody, which of course, you know, I like to, I like to be a little bit different and like to do a little, things a little bit differently here. So that's where I'm going with that, but I heard back from them and I really haven't had the time to sit on them and, and keep contacting them, but hopefully that'll come up or come to fruition at some point. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not happy with Shaw on the cake either. Sorry, I guess you read that out loud. Well, I mean, you guys can read it, but uh, uh, Kelly said, I don't have the money. I get it. They were on sale after I got Lion Brand sale. I'm not happy with the Shaw on the cake either. Yeah. I started working up a Shaw in the Shaw on the cake and not it, nothing exciting. I mean, nothing wrong with it add on I did it with the sparkle yarn of course because or with the what is it like I think they're mostly gold that runs through it nothing wrong with it and I know a lot of people like it it's just not my personal preference um so I stopped and I started making it in in a different yarn but not everybody likes every yarn and really it is a personal preference and until you can try it or see it or whatever for the case feel it preferably but it's so hard and you don't know until you try it so anyway um this is the november knit crate i'm sure everybody's done an unboxing so i'm just going to show you which one i got um it is the blue one i don't the other thing i don't like is with the ring light instead of my natural light it doesn't pick up the right colors but it is beautiful and it is super soft. I mean, oh, so soft. So, so soft. It's like something you just want to cuddle with. You don't like big clumps of fuzz? Yes. Yeah. I think that's what I didn't like too. Oh, you haven't tried it, Julie? Yeah. It just, just not my thing. Just, I don't know. It just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. But anyway, this is Netology Glowing Worsted. This colorway is C, 40% superwash merino, 30% silk, 30% alpaca. I see the softness from that. Oh, my gosh. So incredibly soft. And it is worsted, so that's nice. Um, 150 yards. They suggest um, a U.S. 8 to 10, I'm sorry, or 5 to 6 milli needles. Hand wash, cold only, lay flat to air dry. Most of Knit Crate's yarns are like that, although I know several people that do wash them. May not dry them, but they do wash them. But this is just so soft. I mean, I wish I wish you guys could feel it. Here, feel it. <laughs> just kidding. I know I'm being silly. It is. It is so amazing. I mean, I, I love all of their yarns. I, I really haven't had an issue with any of them. Um, I need to wind them. <laughs> I still haven't tried. I brought it over to my mom's figuring, okay, I'll find the time to use my new Swift. No, it's still sitting on the dining room table. It's, so, it is, it's, it is a really pretty blue. It's not really, it's not really picking it up. I really think this is almost, it's not quite cerulean, but it is really pretty. It's fuzzy too, but so soft, so, so soft. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Oh, Cindy. Thank you, Julie. You know everybody. Cindy, welcome to my live. But anyway, oh yeah, what else is in here? I think they sent tea this time. I've never had them send me tea. Ahmad Tea London. It's a British family with four generations of passion for produce, producing the finest teas. It's certified, but... Uh, this ring light also drives me nuts because of the reflection. Oh, I guess I didn't open this because I would have started this. Refreshing green tea. There's mango magic, strawberry sensation, and black currant burst. I'm so excited. My mom and I have been making tea for her every morning. So we'll have to try this. I, I like loose leaf tea personally. Um, I love, I don't know if any of you, okay. First of all, before, and hopefully it doesn't happen, but if for some reason live 
stalls, try to refresh, see if I'm still here. For some reason during my lives, my Wi-Fi goes down. Don't understand. And that's another reason why I don't like doing it on my computer because I can't switch to data. But if it does and you can't get back to this live, I will restart another live. So just make sure to go back to that one. All right. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to trying these. They have a detox tea too. But I mean, have, has anybody ever seen? Normally they send like a stitch marker or something like that, but I've never seen them send tea before. And I think this is the crochet pattern, one of the crochet, or either one of or the crochet pattern. But since I'm sure so many people have already done this, oh my God, I love the sock yarns this month. Oh man, and I missed the Black Friday sale and the double down. Oh, as members, you get a 25% discount. I think it's 25% discount in Member Central on their website on any on any of the yarns that they still have available. But every month after the boxes are received, basically, they do a double down where they, yeah, you get an additional discount. And it's more than just double down. And they had a really great one this year, this week, this month or last month. So those were the three colors that were available in the, in the membership kits or boxes. <sighs> Hi, Michelle. Mine does the same thing. Oh, on your lives with the Wi-Fi, if that's what you're talking about. I don't drink tea, but Julie says some, so I'll try it. Oh, Julie, that's so sweet. I love Happy Mail. Okay, I'm not, asking, I'm not saying that for anybody to send me Happy Mail. But it's awesome to get something you're not expecting. Like, when Sandy told me, did you give, when she asked me if I got her box on my last live, I was like, no. Did you tell me you were sending me something? And she's like, no. And I was like, oh my God. Of course, I had to go check the box the next day, but I love cold drinks because I'm always so hot, but I do like hot tea. Oh, that's what I was starting to say. They are in the bulk of my favorite tea store are in Canada, but I think they have one here somewhere in Florida and possibly in the Midwest, uh, but it's David's tea. I love their teas. Their beat it. Is it just beat it or beat it tea? It's, it's got beets in it. I know that may sound gross, but it's really not. It's delicious, delicious tea. Um, and then their green passion fruit amazing and they had a watermelon a luscious watermelon they had it for like two years several years ago oh my gosh i bought them out like almost every time ordering it is insanely expensive they're shipping nuts but i have an aunt that lives in canada and it's nuts for her too but it's less it was less at the time but they have awesome teas because i love loose leaf teas um I mean, I have like one of their mugs that changes colors and it's got an infuser and I've got their, I don't have it here, but I've got their travel mug that has an infuser in it too. You could either do ice or hot tea. They have it um, like marked for the, how full to, how much to fill the water. You know what I'm trying to say? Sorry, it's 11, 18 PM. I'm tired. <laughs> Yes, she is, Kelly. Julie's forcing you to drink the tea. She wouldn't have sent it to you. She didn't want you to drink it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Totally kidding. Can you do it iced? Do you like iced tea? I drink coffee. Had I, maybe I wouldn't if I read the next thing, but I drink coffee, no bells or whistles, folder, folders with powdered creamer and sugar. Hey, we all have the things we like. But anyway, so... um. Yeah, but David's tea is awesome. Oh my goodness, I love these patterns. I love these sock patterns. And they have a crochet sock pattern. You guys know I have a ton of fingering and so fingering sock weights. Ton, ton, ton. But look at these. And this is the crochet sock pattern. Awesome. Oh, I took my mom to go get her hair done today because that's one of the three places she can go while she's on basically house arrest. Because Medicare, when it's Medicare, when you are on home health care, you are homebound. You are not allowed to go to work. You are not allowed to go anywhere except the hairstylist, 
the grocery store if you don't have someone to go for it. Well, you can go with the person that's your home health care provider. What is it? Hairstyle, um, doctor's appointment, church, and the grocery store. Okay, four. Hairstylist is not supposed to be like a regular thing, but you're allowed to go or even to get your nail on like once. So I went to go take take her to go get her hair done today. And I don't know why I was telling you that. Just went out the, right out of my head. Totally out of my head. It was something to do with coffee, though. Don't remember. I don't. So let's see. Do you know about the fancy tea that comes with the clear pot and looks gorgeous when you brew it? I wish I knew what it was called. I know what you're talking about. I haven't. I don't have one. I've not used one. I've tried tea from one, and it was great. But I don't know. I don't know much about it so i can't help you sorry <laughs> i've seen those yeti travel mugs those look great i heard they are the best cold or hot for hours yes yeti ones are great but i have to tell you i got this one at walmart tal awesome i'll put ice in it in the morning i have ice in it at night maybe not, not the full cup of ice but i will have ice until the nighttime sometimes even into the morning i haven't done hot in it though this one is awesome. And I think this one was, can't remember, maybe eight, eight, $10, something like that. And then I, we have like a one that's a little bit bigger than this. And then we have like a, it's bigger than a quart size. I think could be quart size. Don't know, but we got that because in the summer we take it out to the pool and we can have it nice and cold. Thanks, Julie. Just as a heads up, Julie, if you see someone by the name of Luke, come on. It, you, there are sometimes compliments and stuff. It's not something you have to worry about. Just an FYI, because I, I didn't even see what was said. <laughs> I don't know that I wanted to. I, I don't know. But all right, so that's the Nick Crate. So uh, we, I did kind of sort of show part of the um, happy mail from Catherine that she sent me. This was already before my mom's surgery, but I didn't actually show it because then shortly after that, my mom had her surgery and I didn't have a chance to. But you guys want to see Catherine's or Sandy's? And no, this isn't going to be playing favorites, depending on who's you say. But who's do you want me to open next? Well, okay, Catherine's is open and I'm using a lot. But which one do you want me to open? I haven't seen Sandy's. I'm waiting for a response. Come on, guys. You know, neither one of them would care. I was actually going to subliminally, subliminally message JD, well, Catherine's cat, to wake her up like I did with my very first live. But I didn't do it because she's asleep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sandy. Okay. So this is the box from Sandy. I took her return. Even though it's her P.O. box, it's not my place to show it. So I took that off. It's the only thing I did to the box. And you guys know my P.O. box because it's in the description box below. So I'm nothing to hide. Um, all right. She spent a lot on shipping on this. It was like 21 for him to not have all the sound on here. Oopsie. Oh, the box. All right. What, Kelly? Oh, wait, what? You watch what from your TV? Did I miss something? Maybe we should have made her wait longer. <laughs> no, that's not fair. She said, my next video, this is my next video. So nothing would have said would have had me not open this. I would have opened it after Catherine's. But that would have waited. Yeah, you're right. That would have made me wait longer. <laughs> Smart, Kelly. Okay, so let's do the card first. Natalie. That's me. 
Aw, Christmas wishes. With glitter. Can you see the glitter? You can kind of sort of see it. The snowflakes have glitter. Oh, something fell out of the card. Sorry if it's getting wobbly. I'm on my uh, <laughs> empty boxes. Oh, with Catherine's. Yeah, but I didn't open the rest of it on camera. You guys didn't see the earrings, the bookmark, the beads, and something else in there. Aha. Uh -huh. I was being sneaky. I didn't show you everything. So anyway, in the card is this crocheted angel. Isn't that cute? And it's got sparkle yarn. Sparkle. You guys all know I love sparkle. Isn't that adorable? We don't know if we're going to do a tree this year. Normally, it would have been up already. But with everything going on and with medical stuff and extra boxes and everything else from the medical stuff, we don't know. But now we're talking about, you know, my mom is talking about wanting to get like a small live tree, maybe. I don't know. But she's the one that decorates the tree with the ornaments. It's her tree. Um. And it's just not possible. So I don't know what we're going to do. But let's see. Hey, Brenda, welcome. Hello, I'm at work and want to say hi to all. Hello, welcome. Mama's good. Still frustrated as all can be with having to have her legs elevated and IV and everything else. But she's doing good. She's plugging along. She hates how long it takes her to walk because she's using the walker and she can't take full steps because she can't put full weight on her knee. So it's frustrating her, but she's good. And she has, again, and I do too, say thank you so much for all the thoughts and prayers and, and everything. You guys are awesome. Yes, bling and pink. All the bling in the world and pink, even purple. Blue is my favorite, favorite, favorite color. But pink and purple, love it and bling more bling better i you guys must have seen way first couple giveaways i think i was outside and i had my sunglasses on totally blinged out some of my earrings that i have match them they're from brighton but this is all bling yeah love bling more bling the better okay let's get back to sandy's box Okay, so Natalie, Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Sandy and George, crochet A. <laughs> Yay! Haha, <laughs> candy. Skittles. I think I'm going to be opening this right now. Sorry, my throat is dry. Perfect excuse to eat candy, right? Oh, this is cool. So it's a mermaid tail. It's a notebook. All different lengths with the mermaid. Oh, wow. That's really blowing it out, isn't it? You know, with the, what is it called? With the um, whatever sequins. And then each set has. Ha, cool. Awesome. I can always use notepads. Always use notepads. Do I? Do I ever know where they are when I need them? No. Do I use them like I should? No. But it is what it is. Yes. All the bling, all the pink, purple, turquoise. Yes. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Another notepad. Oops. Upside down. Sequin notebook. But it is one of the ones with the reversible sequins. I love playing with this. I mean, I could sit here and play with this the whole time I'm on camera. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Does she know me or what? I think she knows me just a little bit. But yeah, another notebook. <laughs> I don't know why. Anywhere that I see the sequin pillows or the stools that have it or whatever the case is. I was at Pier 1, I think, with my mom a few weeks ago. And I'm just sitting there playing. I think they had a, I don't know, it may have been a pillow. And I just play with them. I mean, I can't help it. I like, I start writing in it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your notepad, notepad hog. Ooh, 
chocolate. Milk chocolate. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Mm -hmm. May have to dig into those too. And here's a separate bag that says Natalie. Okay. It's a little soft. Sorry if that's loud. I don't know how this, how my laptop picks up crinkle sounds. I'm trying to do it down here so maybe it's not quite as loud. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Where did she get these? It's La Mia, so it's got to be Hopium. Yeah, you're not seeing them yet. <laughs> Aren't I mean? She knows I love soft. All right. Ooh, there's more stuff in here, too. It's La Mia, which is Hobium brand, and Gora. And a, a really pretty lavender. So soft. So soft. I love it. 50 gram ball, or yeah, balls, 137 yards. 15% Angora. Sorry, yarn fuzz. 35% viscose, 50% polyamide. It's like all over. Isn't that pretty? You can't really see it though. I hate this ring light for that reason. Ugh. But it's really pretty lavender. And she gave me, sorry, I'm wobbling you guys. Four of them. <laughs> Yay. I'm so excited. What should I make? What did I say? There's 137 yards per ball or skein. A four millimeter hook. No, oh, it looks like you can wash it, machine wash it in cold. Awesome. Ideas, please. All right. They're going back in the box. All right. There's more stuff. And buttons. There's six pieces in here. Wooden buttons. I don't know why they keep falling out. I mean, I know why they keep falling out. There's a hole in the bag, but... <laughs> Yay, in a Canada keychain. <laughs> she knows I have family in Canada, but this... Actually, I really like this one. I need another keychain. Sandy, I love... It. I have so many keychains, but I'm going to use this one. You see? Yay! Sorry, I had to chew the Skittles. <laughs> you want to touch it? Okay, here. Touch it. It's so soft. I love Angora. My mom said back in the day, it is squishy. So soft. Scarf and ear warmer. Mm, yeah. Good idea. When my mom said back, back in the day, like that, because she and my dad basically were, I think, grammar school sweethearts into high school. But when they would, like, when the guys would give the girls rings, like their high school rings or whatever, when they're too loose, they would always wrap it with Angora on the inside to make them tighter. I love this so soft. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of <laughs> stuck on that. So, yay. Thank you so much, Sandy. I know you're not here right now. I don't think I've seen you. Um, but thank you very much. I very, very much appreciate it. All the bling and the soft. So awesome. All right. So, Catherine was in this box. Uh, this box. Really? This envelope. <laughs> I know this is what you saw, Julie. I worked on something crochet for the very first time today since we got home from my mom's surgery. It was my Tammy sweater. That's what I showed last time. But here are some of the stitch markers that she made. She made, oops, and sent me. The ring light is really doing, it isn't doing it justice. Aren't these awesome? But yes, yeah, she made this, made all of these. I love these because you see the little stones. The, the ring light is really messing this up. 
You see the little stones right there? They're Swarovski crystals. She knows I love Swarovski. See, there's like two of them in there. It's kind of like a champagne color. Oh my God, I hate this ring light right now. And I just knocked over my bag. Oops. But aren't these gorgeous? And yes, you're seeing my really dry hands right now. Sorry. Stop moving. I love this one. See the little stone? And yeah, these beads right there on all of them, the top one and the bottom ones are Swarovski crystal also. But yeah, whoops. Huh. Some of my notepads or um, sticky notes just fell off my computer. Anyway, those are the stitch markers she made me. Sorry, I got to pick these up. Oh my God, I can't wait to have my hair on Wednesday. We actually have two doctor's appointments for my mom also. My hair appointment is in the evening. Because see, like my roots are grown out to like here. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad. I'm hot right now. Okay. Do people really complain about the host eating? I wonder why everyone says I'm says I'm sorry for eating, coughing, etc. I apologize for everything. You guys know that already. I bump into the box. I apologize to the box. Just what I do. But yes, people do complain about people eating, even drinking. Whatever. If you're on camera for an hour, I mean, come on, you got to drink. What? I, I'm not worried about it. It's stupid. Catherine made them. Yeah. So she said, feel free to open on camera, but you don't have to. Because she knew I wasn't sure if I was going to open it on camera or not. Like if I wanted to be just a happy male hog <laughs> and not share it with you guys. But look at the card. Isn't it cute? The doggy. What a cute doggy. Anyway, she said, Natalie, my sweet friend, thank you so much for my happy mail. I love, love, love it. Well, you, you guys know she was my first subscriber of the week winner. So she got that prize, which was a stitch marker that I made. But I had also gotten her something else. Um, and I said that to her. And there was another little tiny thing um, that I also sent. So she had gotten that. And she already had this stuff prepared, I guess. But hadn't sent it out. So then, of course, she had to tease me and tell me she sent it out. Wouldn't tell me what it was or anything else. And this is coming from um, Belgium. So it's good forever. But, yeah, she liked to tease me on that one. Uh, okay. So, anyway, Natalie, my sweet friend, thanks so much for my happy meal. I love, love, love it. I hope you will enjoy this little package just as much. Lots of love, Karen. P.S. In case you wonder... Uh, P.S. In case you wonder, thingy with the string is a bookmark, LOL. I actually kind of, I didn't read the card. <laughs> that was the last thing I read. I don't even know how I didn't realize the card was in there. I totally didn't see it. And so I was looking at it, and I'm like, okay, I think this is a bookmark. Had I read the card, I would have known it was. So she she wrapped everything in, like, individual little tissues. So this one was the one that had the stitch marker, or one set of the stitch markers. Oh, wait. All of these have something in it. So what did I do? She must put all those stitch markers on that one little one. And then this has a little bag. Excuse me. Yeah. This is, now she made all this. And I told her I was going to tell everybody that she made it. Because she is very talented. She makes jewelry also. Sorry, Catherine, if you didn't want me to say that, but she does. So anyway, this is the bookmark. Isn't that awesome? So pretty with the butterfly. I love it. Love it, love it. And yes, again, the crystals on here are Swarovski. Like I said, she knows I love it. All right. Sorry if I'm taking too long. Okay. What was this one? Oh. Oh, yeah. Here were, I didn't need these. But some more stitch markers. 
So we got that one. All of them are different in some way or another. That one. Again, sorry if the computer's shaking. That one. And if it's not picking up true color. And that one. Yay! I have so many stitch markers. Plus, I'm making, well, okay, I haven't touched stitch markers either since my mom's surgery, which I need to do because I feel really badly because Tanya, my last subscriber of the week, that was announced. I still have one that I have to announce. I still haven't gotten hers together, and I feel horrible because I really should have. I love butterflies, too. All right, and then she sent me a bag <laughs> of... Crystal beads. Yay! So excited. You can't really see all the colors, but stupid ring light. Not stupid ring light, sorry. It's an 18-inch ring light. I don't know what I was thinking. It's a massive. Plus, it, it's in my glasses, too. All right. So then... These guys... Also so pretty. Yay. Also Swarovski. And then, I love these. Total sparkle. Total, total sparkle. Yes, she made all of this. And these earrings. So not picking up right. So not picking up right. But oh my god, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. They're like little balls. <laughs> but earrings for me. So now that I showed everybody, I can actually take them out. I mean, I could have taken them out of the little tissues, but I didn't want to until I showed it on camera. Oops. Yeah, that's it. Not that's it. That's enough. I thought maybe I missed something. So anyway, oh, I have a headache. That is all of my hat mail for today. Oh, I thought I lost Wi-Fi again. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? I loved it. I couldn't believe she just sent me a bag of beads. I was like, oh, my God, I love it. Uh, the little ones were stitch markers, I think, but those were earrings because they were post earrings. Nope. The last ones I showed you were earrings because they had posts. The other ones, stitch markers. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. These. Okay, I'm losing stuff here, people. How can I not feel these? Okay, yeah. These were earrings. Because of the post. So these guys were the earrings. And then the other ones I, I think are stitch markers. She can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But these guys I was thinking were stitch markers. They could be earrings also, but... These guys, I think, are stitch markers. So, I love it all. Love it, love it. Yeah, could. Totally could. But none of them match. Well, other than these, none of them match. So, I mean, I don't care. I'll watch. I'll, watch, I'll wear mismatched stuff. Heck, that's why I like Betsy Johnson jewelry and stuff. Um, actually, one of the pairs of earrings that I wear in my videos are Betsy Johnson, and they're like upside down, like they're like backwards or something. I don't remember what they are, but yeah, they're different. So anyway, that's all the happy mail. I don't know why I just got it all hot all of a sudden. It's actually warm in here. We have the heat on. Really? I mean, it's. I'm not saying anything against it. 
It's only 61. Oh, so maybe it hasn't kicked in. I don't know. But anyway, so how are you guys all doing? What's going on with you guys? Everybody's so quiet today. It says there's eight people in here, but it's only like, what, two, three of you talking? Yeah, I always have been. Ever since I was a kid. So many people are like, well, maybe it's hormones or maybe it's whatever. Or try black cohosh because that's great. Well, black cohosh is when you're when you're menopausal. Well, yeah, it's hormonal. You should try it. And I'm like, this isn't hormonal. I've been like this since I was a kid, like young kid. My parents are sweaters. My dad got arrested. Literally, and I, I'm not I'm not joking, could be in two feet of snow on his front porch and shorts and a tank top, not profusely sweating wedding but he could have a sheen on his forehead doing nothing so i mean i got his jeans i got my mom's jeans and is what it is you know i'd rather be personally because i'm always hot i'd rather be cold because i could cover up but there's only so much i could take off before i'm arrested unless i'm at home and i know i've said that before in other videos but it's so true so true just the way i feel Yeah, I get it. Totally get it. Totally, totally get it. I'm actually really tired. Probably should go to bed, but I'm rushing to get my son's blanket done. My dad was the same too. Carried a bandana as a hanky. Yep. Yeah. But I, I like I always have a. I don't have my fan. It's on the it's on the coffee table. I could reach it if, if I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm not that hot, but yeah. What, you'd rather be cold? I mean, and, and people people that are cold always always tell me, well, no, it really sucks. And I'm like, I, I can imagine. I, I totally can imagine and I can be empathetic for it because I know how it sucks to be hot. But if you're cold, you can layer. You can put multiple layers on. You can get blankets. You can whatever. I mean, there's ways to not, but it, at the same time, it would suck to always be cold. But being hot, there's only so much you could do about it. And literally, there's only so much you could do about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, a yawn's about to come. I'm going to try to stifle it so I don't get you guys yawning. But there's nine people. It shows that there's nine people in here. And yet, there's only, what, three of you that are talking. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I mean, obviously right now I wouldn't take anything else off. <laughs> yeah. But off camera, if I wanted to, if it was in my place, I wouldn't be doing it in my mom's house either. But I mean, I could take off everything if I wanted to. But yeah. outside, I mean, come on. And I live in Florida, really. I mean, I know everybody has their issues with heat where they live, but it's like 10 months out of the year. <laughs> it's not here. I mean, heck, the, today and the next two days, it's supposed to be 79, 80 degrees on the high. Really? So many people are getting snow and are freezing and we're 79, 80. I mean, yeah, it's nice. You live in a subtropical climate, but, you know. Thanks, Kelly. My daughter showed me a picture of the 3D blanket done like boxes and told me she wants me to make it. Oh, I love that one. Oh, my God. I have so many different pictures of that one. I would love to make a 3D blanket, a 3D box blanket. That is just incredible. Of course, it'd have to be bright colors. But yeah, you got to make one, Brenda. Come on. And then you show it off to everybody. I do need to get a Facebook group started, but I'm glad I didn't get it started before my mom's surgery because it would have been hard to manage right now. But I like Wisconsin. I used to go to Baraboo in the summers for camp when I was in grammar school. I can't take the heat anymore. I'm staying put in Wisconsin, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What's the temperature up there now? 
I know, um, where was I seeing? I think it was in Philadelphia. It was like, I don't know why the, I had that up. It was showing um, like 46 today, I want to say, or the other day. You're starting your Facebook group after the holidays? Yeah, that's probably a smart thing. Even if mom hadn't had surgery, that would be smart. Although she's having another surgery in a few weeks, so. You don't think you're good enough for what? Oh, for the blanket? Sure you are. 34, 35, but we are dropping in single digits next week. I love cold weather. <laughs> I love cold weather. Love it. But I'm from Chicago. So, I mean, I've been down here 28 years, I think. I am not a Floridian. No, I'm a Chicagoan. Bulls, the Bears. Yeah, not, not Floridian. I will support the Bucks once in a while, but. Yeah, I, I'm not big, not that I'm not big into sports. I'm not like a fanatic, but if I'm going to support someone, the Bulls and the Bears, the Bears. Everybody's so quiet tonight. I'm going to yawn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. Maybe it's time to go. It's actually been over an hour. Time flies. It really does. Bye. Thanks for coming by. Have a good night. It's 11.52. Wait, sorry. I don't like it. Pay to get in and out. Horrible drivers. What are you talking about? What did I do? Did I say something? It has been getting down to 34 at night here. Yeah, that's pretty cold. What did I miss, Katie? Or what did I say? Because right now I couldn't tell you what I said. I watched the replay. <laughs> then I could tell you. Oh, yeah. Good night, Kelly. Yeah, I think I'm going to get going, guys. So thank you all for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you liked all the happy mail. Everybody who wants to see happy mail will hopefully see it on the replay. But uh, thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for your thoughts and prayers for my mom and for me. Um, you guys are all awesome. And uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get hop on again. And it'll probably be sometime next week, but um, who knows? Maybe it'll be tomorrow. I don't know yet. So um, remember for every season, there's a reason to crochet and Yarny hugs everyone. Have a great night. Bye.